It's gonna be a treat for the community. It was free for you because we wanna give back. My brother is engineer at Cisco. I work on Wall Street. The most important investment we can make is in our community. Fantastic. That's Hot 105 MGMC, don't forget, it's Saturday, March 9th, the March for Education. We're Hot 105. What we're doing is we wanna empower the community. We wanna stand on a platform for parents, teachers, students, and all the stakeholders in the community for education. That's what we're doing tomorrow. Thank just, you so very much. And just remember this, whenever you leave here, if you change one life, you could change a family. And if you could change enough families, you could change enough communities. And if you change enough communities, then, then we you could change, change the world. Hi, my name is Farrell Ligere from the Foundation of the World. I was born and raised in Miami, Florida. The Foundation of the World was founded originally September 9th, 2009. The three things that really determine the quality of life are your education, your health, and your wealth. So those are the, the three key components that we address at the Foundation of the World. And by doing that, we can achieve a world free from poverty. That's our overall vision. The March for Education. Uh, started off when we were a group of college students and we had to take a stance for something. Our rights, civil rights, because education is a civil right. It's not a luxury, it's, a, it's something that's inherent. Everyone deserves a quality education. So we didn't walk on Washington, we marched on Washington. I said, how about we march for education? And that's how that started. Dr. Flor Lindor La Tortue. When I completed my um, undergrad in Puerto Rico, I never wanted to be out of my country. However, I came to South Florida. Farel Liger was um, a mentee. And after that, I take I am his mentee now with his vision. And that's where you think that um, his foundation is doing a great job. I said, uh, school plus pot equals success and equal everything that much for education is fighting for. Bridget Fitzgerald from Chicago, Illinois, recently moved to Florida. What's most exciting about this march is that it's back and that we are gaining momentum and organization and it's just really great to see what is being built here. Because of all the enthusiasm and positivity and vested partners, we're gonna see this movement grow and it will be an annual practice. My name is Jessica Tabert, and I am a mother of four children. There are some challenges that I face as a parent with the way that uh, testing and homework and, and those things are doled out. And I know it's not the teacher's fault, I'm also a teacher champion, but I think that the system could use an overhaul. My name is Dion Polak. My purpose in life is to leave a legacy and footprints in the sand. The education system that we have in place now is in part it to send them to the jails. But if we can educate the, the kids early on in life, set the foundation early on, we can avoid them from going to jail. I have a theory that says, be the change you want to see. If you want change, you have to go and make that change. Just don't stand by and just make all of the comments and then just walk away. My name is Christoph Carvonis. I'm born and raised in Port-au-Prince, Haiti. In order for us to grow in life, we need education, and you might think that it's something that we use every day in our daily life. I take about an hour and a half of my day, every single day, to coach and develop my people. I'm Patrick Jean Baptiste. Uh, I'm a teacher with Miami-Dade County Public School System. What I realized was mentorship is one of the most important things uh, a young child can have. The more people we can have that are registering to vote, being aware of where their tax dollars are being spent, and engaging in the community with showing up to marches or volunteering in any way are just a few ways that people can get involved. My name is Reginald Liget. When the Foundation of the World started about 10 years ago, and our key goal is to empower the youth, a person gets those key values at the beginning of their journey. So that's why we call it the Foundation of the World, because youth are the foundation of our future. Number one, I don't believe that um, I am teaching my children how to be. I am encourage them to explore who they are as people. I want them to understand that they're four completely different human beings and there is no cookie cutter way to raise four different people, right? These are three things that I build my business on. Systems, attitude, and work ethic. You know, most people in the world that we live in today are trying to make as much money in the less time as possible, but they don't understand that there's a groundwork that needs to be put on the back end. So for me, work ethic is one of the most important things. The youth can drive change, 
and the foundation of the world is a catalyst for the youth to drive change. You can't be an engineer without school. You can't be a doctor without school, a lawyer without school. You can't do it without school. And look, I'm the first one to tell you, there was nothing that I enjoyed about the PhD program. I didn't enjoy being an African-American male going to a predominantly white school where there was maybe one or two of us in each classroom. I didn't particularly care how they talked about the urban experience. But listen to me very closely. It doesn't matter how you feel. You have to do it. Look at his family right here. This is why we do it. And we do it with pride. Look how beautiful they are. Look at that example right there, guys. There's some stuff that's just not fit when you're royal. There's just some stuff you don't do when you've got queen and king all in your royal blood. You just don't do certain things. Why? Because as a king, I always want to be in my right mind. Because when I'm in my right mind, I make great decisions. And when I make great decisions, I become number one in the world. I didn't become number one in the world doing what everybody else is doing. I became number one in the world by tapping into my kingship. I believe the community has tried to rally around education with many different activities. So a lot of the things that we rally around is a one-size-fits-all uh, agenda. I really need to think about the different types of communities we have in South Florida and target our efforts uh, for each community. So I think it's important in working with teachers that they, the parents need to help teachers understand their kids, but teachers also spend more time with my kids than I do during the day. So that relationship is necessary. They say it takes a village, and I think that village oftentimes starts with teachers. So therefore, there's no excuses, and if you know better, you do better. Believe in yourself, essentially. That, that's what I go for. Um, are we getting developments for our own growth? but for the growth of the child. So we talk a lot in PDs about what we need to do, but really it's more about, where well, I think it should be more about what the children can benefit from, from whatever we're learning. We're gonna see this movement grow, and it will be an annual practice, and it will be something that we can retain the amount of participation and engagement that will be there this weekend, and yield many, many years of results. So. If 2019 is, is a great strong year, but it's going to be great in 2020 and beyond. The foundation of the world is about the world. We started here in the United States because this is home to us, but we want to inspire people around the world to act, to be the change that they need in their lives, in their communities, in their families. It was a lot of fun. Like, I had a great time. My friends would definitely want to come because my, my entire class is just about kindness and being like nice to people. From vision to fruition. This was a conversation a long time ago. Tomorrow is the execution. Anyone can start, but it's about finishing. You have people behind you that you want to lay a better path for, and you have people in front of you that have laid a path for you. So that's what we try to bring to every single person that becomes a part of the Foundation of the World and is participating in the Foundation World program. It's about family. It's about leaving you better off than when you came that day. We have to keep going because if we give up on them, who's going to do it? If not us, then who? If not now, then when? And the last thing we want people to know is that this is one world, this is one family. And if we can look at each other in that same mindset, in that same figurehead, then the world could be a better place.